What's up, beautiful people? Thank you so much for joining my channel, The Balanle Babe. Balanle means finds wealth at home, and that's exactly what we're about here on this channel, finding our wealth at home via budgeting, saving, and our new cash envelope system. So if you are new here, welcome. My name is Rita, and if you are returning, thank you so much. We just hit 1,000 subscribers, guys. I am so happy to have each and every one of you following my journey with me. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, so first things first is we have our cash envelopes here in our wallet. We are going to go ahead and unstuff. Of course, we need to empty out our change for the week. And we're going to go ahead and just put it right in here. I see everybody is getting those digital coin jars. I'm kind of interested in getting one just because I like that it keeps the the... Uh, number updated on the top for you and lets you know how much you have so I might invest in one of those not sure but okay so I know that our <laughs> cash envelopes are pretty empty uh, this time around so there should be nothing in spend nothing in grocery nothing in home gas has just a few dollars let's see we have one two and three so we are going to set that right over here for our dollar envelope later. And then our deposit, we do have some money that we need to deposit back to our account. Um, this is $50 here, 20, 40, 50. And this was for a Fenty Beauty purchase that I made and also um, ice cream. So this money, 30 came out of my beauty envelope and 20 came out of social outings, I believe. Um, but just, you know, for transparency purposes, if I don't always have my cash envelopes on me, or maybe I spend money on something that's from one of my sinking funds, and obviously I don't carry those around, you know, I just use my card, whether it's my debit card and I use my um, buffer money that I have in my account, or I use my credit card. Um, either one works, but I just make sure that I always pay it back right away. So just wanted to be transparent about that. We have $50 we need to put back on our card. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. Okay, all right, so we have our money here. If you missed our last video, then you'll see that we did a separate budget by paycheck video. I just wanted to separate it from this one. I know not as many people are interested in the budget videos as they are in the stuffing videos. So it's your preference, um, but nonetheless, we have $1,040. Here, this money is a combination of my regular pay, uh, $20 we rolled over from our buffer account, and then $71 came from our high, um, side hustle of Macari um, for this stuffing. So spend is going to get its usual $40. Grocery is going to get the normal 150. Right after I finish this video, me and my daughter are actually gonna head right over to the grocery store because we are basically out of everything. <laughs> we are gonna do our meal plan and then we're gonna head over to Aldi. Home is going to get its normal 30 as well, 20 and a 10. Same thing with our gas envelope. This will also get 30. My tank is actually full right now because my husband um, used it the other day and he filled it all the way up. So I probably will go a little bit further than I normally do with this 30 bucks. Coffee, we are not going to stuff this pay period. And yeah, that's it. Perfect. So we already have our wallet taken care of. Okay, so now we are gonna go ahead and get into stuffing our sinking funds. This is a high priority um, sinking fund pay period. So this is our high priority binder and we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. The majority of our money is going to go to this binder with the exception of a few envelopes in the other two. Okay, so we got our 1K slip. I'd be dazzled my first 1K slip. I am gonna be making some more of these. I also think once I get my Etsy shop together, I'll sell some of these. So just wanted to put that out there, but $3,000. Today we are going to be adding $400 to allocate towards debt. So one, two, three, four. 
So $400 is different than the typical 500 that I'm used to stuffing. The reason I'm only doing $400 this pay period is because I have a lot of other envelopes that I need to begin bulking up. I have a trip coming up in June, a trip coming up in August. I need about $1,000 in both of those envelopes before the trip comes. So I just really need to think about how I wanted to allocate my money. It's not gonna hurt me um, to only allocate 400 now because maybe I'll be able to allocate 600 in two weeks. So I, I'm just basically pulling an additional $100 from the typical amount that I would allocate so that I can put it in one of my other envelopes where I need the money like right now. So for our debt snowball, we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 3,100, 200, 300, 400. So we have $3,400 here. And I went ahead and updated all of my trackers already so that I didn't waste time in this video doing that. Our joint, we are going to give joint $10. So we have 100, 200, oh, I'm sorry. These are $1,000 placeholders. Not used to having these in here, but you know, if you watched my stimulus video, we did allocate $3,000 to our joint savings account. So we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 3,050, 3,060, 3,070. Our savings challenge is going to be getting $65 this pay period. So we're going to do a 50, oh, a 10, and a five. I always forget if I'm supposed to count this or not, but I figure since we kind of already know that once the envelope's full, it's gonna be $2,000, there's no need in me like hiding how much is in there. <laughs> and I also think it works for accountability purposes as well for me to just go ahead and count it on camera. So we should have 100, 200, 300, 350, 360, 370, 375, 380. So $380 is now in our 26 week savings challenge. Okay, so now we're moving on to my kids' envelopes and each of them is going to be getting $25 today. So we have 100, 120, 125, 26, 27 because we do have their dollar coins in there. I'm gonna try to see if, um, I know I started off with stuffing their envelopes bi-weekly, or excuse me, by pay period, so once a month, but I that's not enough for me, so I'm gonna move some stuff around to make sure that every pay period I'm putting the $25 each in all of their um, envelopes, as well as I still allocate the $75 towards their stocks um, out of my regular bills. So what is that together? That's 75 times two. That's $150 a month towards my kids' envelopes. So 100, 20, 25, 26, 27. Where's his other, oh, like where's his other coin at? Okay, 127. I like for their trackers to face the back. All right, and last but not least, Christopher is also going to be getting the $25. So 120, 20, 25, 26, 27. I have to decide um, because as you guys know, my kids' accounts, their 529 accounts are investment accounts. So that money is like always fluctuating. So I think what I'll do is Every video that I stuff my kids' envelopes, I'll also include a clip right here of what their current balances are for their 529 savings accounts, since you guys don't get to see that. So I'll go ahead and add that right now. Okay, all right, so now we're on to our dollar savings challenge, and we did have that $3 that was left over from our cash envelope. So one, two, three. We're gonna stuff that right in here. We are not going to count this until the end of the year. Can't wait to see how much we save. I feel like I haven't saved too many ones yet, but you know, 
Okay, so we also have our March Madness envelope here. I am intentionally going to be stuffing $10 of our money into this envelope. However, we do not know how much is in here. In my next video, I'm pretty sure it'll be my next video, I am going to unstuff and count this and also allocate it into one of my sinking funds. So if you're interested in seeing where this money ends up and also how much money is in there, definitely make sure to come back and check out that video. So now we're moving on to our personal binder. So for personal savings, we are going to give ourselves $30 today. And that should put us at a total of 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 520, 540, 550 dollars. I cannot wait until this envelope reaches 1,000. That's going to be exciting for me. New car is not getting stuffed. Spending is not getting stuffed. Neither are social outings. Neither is beauty and self care. Girls trip. We are actually going to be stuffing 100 and. $65. And the reason for that is because I have deposits for this trip that are due. So me and nine other of my closest friends are going to be traveling to Miami in June for our um, annual girls trip. And, you know, we are going to be taking all the precautions to stay safe. Actually, all but two of us are um, vaccinated fully because of the fields that we work in. Um, and so that's a plus. Plus, we'll also be social distancing. We're getting an Airbnb instead of a hotel. Um, we're going to be spending most of our day like out of, out of the water. We're going to get a yacht just so that we're away from all other people. You know, we're just going to have fun, you know, by ourselves, but in the nice warm weather of Miami. <laughs> um, I mean, here in PA, the weather is starting to warm up but nowhere near like what I need to just kind of like sulk and, and feel good. I need a vacation, I'm so ready. All right, so Girls Trip now has 100, 150, 200, 210, 215. In my next stuffing, all of this money will probably be gone because like I said, I need to go ahead and just allocate it to um, deposits, flights and deposits. I already bought my flights, I need to pay my card back for that too. Okay. So that was our personal savings binder. Now we have our low priority or short term sinking funds binder. And out of this one, we are going to be stuffing kids allowance. So that is what these ones are for. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and $15. All right, and I think it's empty. It is. So $15 will go towards allowance. School supplies is not getting anything. Neither is clothing, neither is pets, neither is birthday, medical, dental, or car maintenance. However, we do need to replenish our um, miscellaneous, our O-SNAP. You guys see what it says. I'm just trying not to curse on my platform. <laughs> but um, we have to replenish this because I did have an oops moment. And that was, it was two oops moments, which took the whole $20. So $10 over on groceries. That's primarily because my daughter and my four-year-old son were with me when I went grocery shopping. And you know how that goes. They see something that's not on the list and they beg you and I caved. So we went ahead and went over on that. And then the other $10 went to the tooth fairy um, because my son lost two teeth in the same week. And I think he like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like he planned it because I don't remember him having two teeth that were loose. And the one tooth that I did know about, it was never that loose. So I think he like forced them out because he wanted some money. But nonetheless, that's where our money went. And so now it is replenished and I can keep adding to it. All right, so with that, we have actually stuffed all of our envelopes for this video. Like I said, guys, I'm so, so happy that you guys have gotten my channel to 1,000 subscribers at this point. I am so thankful, and because of that, I am going to be doing a giveaway video very soon. Um, it may actually even be my next video. I might combine it with my March Madness 
um, unstuffing and allocating video. So definitely just stay tuned for that. I wanna make sure that I give back to you guys for supporting me. Um, I'll probably be giving away some envelopes um, that I made, maybe even a binder. We'll see. Um, I have some updates for you guys about my Etsy shop that I'm getting together for you guys as well. And I'll include all of that in my next video. So don't forget to comment, um, chat with me. Let me know how you guys' day is going. Also, don't forget to like and click the post notifications bell for this video and my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.